What's up guys? Uh, today I want to show you how you can sort of hack Lightroom presets to give you more control of your color editing. So this is kind of a strange trick um, <laughs> that I do on all my presets. And the reason I do this is because it just gives you more control over your colors and how, you know, shifting colors around and adding color to your image. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is go down to the curves tool and let's build out, you know, the tonality that we want the image to have. So we might, we might need to strip out the dynamic range up here, but let's just, yeah. So let's bring the blacks up, the highlights down kind of make the image flat the image out and then just bring back the contrast with these curves here. Give it a nice like film, film contrast. And then whenever you're messing with contrast, you need to bring down your saturation. Um, but once we get to this point, we want to actually do this in the colors channel instead of doing it in this channel. So we're going to go down to each color and add three points. Okay, and then we're gonna go up and make a preset. So we'll call this, I already have a couple built because as, as a demo, but we'll call it color curves three. Put that in toots. And then on our presets, we really only need um, tonal curves. So turn off everything, no, check none. We really only need our curves. Okay, so once that's made, we're gonna right click on the preset and we're gonna go show in Finder. Then it's an XMP file, so it's basically an XML. Um, we're gonna open this with the text editor. Or if you're on PC, that's the notepad or whatever, I don't know what it is. Okay, so these are all the color values that the preset file made and this first curve here is the general curves that we made. This is going to be our red curve, so you can see red. This is going to be green, and this is going to be blue. So what we want to do is take these values here from our standard curve, and we want to pay, copy and paste those into each of the color channels. and then save the file. Okay, so that's saved. Sometimes you have to restart Lightroom to get this to work. Um, we'll see if it works here. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's working. Yeah, okay, so let's restart Lightroom. Okay, so we've restarted Lightroom and going back to our curves three, and as you can see, it looks crazy because it applied the exact curve to each of the color channels. So we can we don't need this one anymore. So we can reset that. And then now we have actually we oh we lost all of this. So let's fix all this real quick. I messed it up because I clicked on one of those other presets. So um, we'll bring back in this look. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, and basically we have the tonal curve embedded in our red RGB um, channel, which is super cool. So we have this cool contrast and then we can add more contrast, more curves adjustments here which actually makes the curves tool significantly more powerful. So even if you are just doing tonality editing with curves, this is a kind of like a cool way to, to do that anyway. Okay, so now we want this to have like a kind of a color shift to it. And what we can do is go in and now edit each one of these points. And you could have done this initially by just creating three points like this and, you know, bringing up the, the bottom point like that, but it's not going to give you the same smooth effect as it does when you're doing it with on, on a curve like this, like on a nice spline. 
So we want to bring in the reds and add a little bit of warmth to our shadows. And then we want to bring down our reds highlights to get some green in the shadows. So as you can see already, this has like an 80s, um, like Kodak, you know, expired film almost look to it. Um, and it's just was just super simple to do. So that's like, I think that's one of the best, most powerful ways to add color shifts to your photos. And um, you can totally tweak them around with these black points too. So if you want more red or um, green sort of in your black points, you can do this also, adjust these, and clip out those reds or add some of the cyans to them. And then you can go to the different channels. So if you don't quite want red and you want to add some blue in there, that's another option also. Get some greens. Or if you wanted to just adjust the mid, just do the midpoint, get some purples or greens going. Um, that's a nice way to do that. And then once all that's set and you have your colors kind of set, you can go back in and then tune, you know, add a fade, tune your looks even more. We don't need to add contrast here um, because it's already in the RGB curves. Maybe we want a little more red now that I faded it. And then let's adjust, get some texture in there. Now, could you have just done all that with the split tones. Yeah, kinda, kinda. It's not quite as powerful. I feel like you're a little bit limited on your, on the way split tones work, but I mean, like you can't, you can't mess with the black points or the white points with the split tones. So you can get, you wanna fade your red channel, you can fade your red channel. You can't do that with your split tones. You can get a little bit more. And then what's nice is you have this like basic look applied and then if you kind of want to like, if, if the colors are still feeling a little off and a little weird and you want to add a little bit of some split to it also, it'll help just pull it all together even a little bit more. So you get like this, you know, super vintage, cool look to it, but it doesn't have to be vintage. Like, I do all my, my street photos with a sim with similar effects and it just doesn't look as crazy because I don't push the colors as hard, but so you can see our, our, um, what is this guy? He's like a mountain monk. You can see our mountain monk and then let's add some grain just cause we have to have grain. Let's go harsher. Let's get a sharper, tighter grain. But this is kind of how I do all of my looks that you see in my photos. But I, I do it a lot more subtle than this. Um, so like you can see, you know, if I wanted to do like this one, you can see this curves matching here. This is like kind of a Kodak um, Ektar or something. This is more of a Kodak Gold in here. This is more of like my street look I use. And it's all, all of these looks are using these small adjustments to the RGB channels like this. See, I'm, this one I added a couple more points. And so that is the, one of the coolest tricks I figured out in Lightroom and it just makes the program so much more powerful and gives you so much more control because again, if you wanted to just add like two layers of RGB curves in Lightroom, you only have one curves tool. So this allows you to like play with it in two different ways, which is really cool. All right, if you found that useful guys, um, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you next time.